हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कोर्स सी ओ आर एस वेल कोर्स स्टैंड फॉर क्रॉस ओरिजिन रिसोर्स शेयरिंग ओके यू नो वट वट इज़ द डिफॉल्ट पॉलिसी ऑफ द ब्राउजर द डिफॉल्ट पॉलिसी ऑफ द ब्राउजर इज सेम ओरिजिन नाउ वट डू आई मीन बाई दैट सेम ओरिजिन मीन्स सपोज यू आर रिक्वेस्टिंग अ रिसोर्स फ्रॉम ए बी सी डॉट कॉम फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट डोमेन लाइक फ्रॉम ए बी सी डॉट कॉम सपोज एक्स वाई जेड डॉट कॉम सो सी बोर्थ आर टू डिफरेंट डोमेन सो बाई डिफॉल्ट ब्राउजर विल ब्लॉक दैट सो हाउ कैन वी बाईपास दैट सो सो दैट सो फॉर दैट कोर्स कम्स इन टू द पिक्चर बट कोर्स डर्स it allow us to bypass the same origin policy of the browser right suppose this is our browser and we are hitting abc.com okay so we are making making a request from the browser this is a request going from browser to server server of abc.com and server is sending a response back to the browser okay now it is sending an html in the response okay so as soon as the browser gets the uh, html file it starts parsing from top to bottom okay so start parsing from top to bottom and it encounter a script tag and that script tag is making a request to some different domain okay suppose it is making an api request to some different domain okay so this is our browser and this is our server we are making a request we got the html file and uh, while parsing that uh, html file in the script tag we are making a request to a different domain as i said before xyz.com so we make a request okay oh so that's the request going and that should be the response coming out so that's my bad so that's so request is going from browser to server okay and then server does its processing and send back the response okay to browser but see it is from different domain xyz it domain is different from abc.com so by default browser will block it okay browser will block it it will not allow the response to propagate into your javascript file so this is called same origin policy of the browser okay so that's a security feature security feature of the browser so how this is a security feature let me explain suppose uh, you are the owner of abc.com okay and uh, there is a another website xyz.com whose service you want to use okay so you can write the code uh, in your file and that can make a request to the service of xyz.com without the permission uh, of the owner of this server of xyz.com right so for that browser implement the same origin policy right without the permission of the owner of xyz.com you can't consume its service right for that browser implement the same origin policy okay so now how can we by bypass it suppose uh the owner of xyz.com allows the abc.com to use his service so how can we bypass that so for that course comes into picture right so uh, what can we do to bypass that so for that let's again see the scenario this is our browser we are making a re get request okay so whenever browser makes a request it automatically add the header in the request in the same request http request it adds the header origin as abc.com that means the same domain 
which browser has opened okay so see so it will pass the origin as abc.com that's that's browser does it okay so request goes to the server server do the processing and in order to bypass the course server should send the header in the response access control allow origin as abc that should be same as the origin that we send in the request it can be abc.com or server can set as star that means everyone is allowed everyone can use the service of xyz.com so that is the scenario of get so you have to note one thing here is the response that is getting blocked by the browser not the request not the request going to the server it is not blocked is the response that is blocked by the browser okay so now let's see how can we bypass the course in case of put update and delete right so again this is our browser and in case of put update and delete browser makes the option call first or the pre flight call we also call this pre flight call okay so what does this pre flight call does first it will send an a request of method type option okay and same as before it is sending in the request header origin as abc.com whatever we are whatever browser is displaying their domain abc.com plus it will also set x what type of method we are requesting so in this case we are requesting the post okay so it will also send access control request method as post okay now the request goes to the server xyz.com now if server wants to allow that request so it will send two header in the response first one is access control allow origin as abc which should be same as the origin okay and the another one is access control allow method see we uh, in the request we have requested for the post type so if that that is allowed by the server so it it will send the access control allow origin as post same okay it can uh, it can be comma separated like it can be post put delete it can be comma separated okay or it can be a single one so if if it is same as the, as we have requested in the uh, initial request then that means it is allowed by the server okay now in the next step browser will make the actual call okay so this is our actual post call again browser will send a request with origin as abc.com right it goes to the server server does the processing and send the response back with a header in the response access control allow origin as abc it should same as the origin okay so this two step is same as the as we have in the get right so now the question arises why is browser making a option call first in case of put post and delete so the reason for that is like in case of get you see in case of get when we make the request and server send the response back if that if server does not allow that request so it will send a course error see the response server send the response but it is blocked by the browser not by the server so in case of get we are only fetching the data like we are not manipulating the database we are not updating something we are not deleting something right but in case of put update or delete like if you don't have this option call mechanism then then what would happen browser makes the call server do the processing suppose uh, we are doing some update we send the request it goes to the server 
it uh, does some update on the database then server send the response back and it is blocked by the browser but that is of no use right we have already did the damage on the database right if it is blocked by the browser then it is of no use for us so for this browser has implemented the pre-flight call in which it will check first if that request is valid it is allowed by the server or not so it will check first if if it is passed then it will make the actual request actual post request it will make the request and get the response back so this is how course work right hope you have find this video informative thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel till then goodbye keep learning